This is Wayne here with Trek County Locksmith Service, and today we're going to be installing a Durabox. This is a legal sized letter document holding container, and it's used, it uses a round tubular style lock on the inside so that you can actually pass letters or information or folders through a door. So it's a hybrid mail slot. The reason this is better than a conventional mail slot is a mail slot allows people to slide in tools, uh, rods, any kind of stuff that you could reach in and grab a handle inside the door or turn a deadbolt and override the security system. Uh, it also just leaves mail flat on the floor for anybody to come by and pick up or hook and pull back out. This system actually has a rake right here and it has this closed box so that it keeps the mail um, nice and secure. It's great for rent if you're going to put checks, personal information, documents, something that needs to be locked up. This is a great way to go. The front of it looks like so and then there's a mail slot that actually goes through the door. I'll show you how to install this and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And there you have it, completely installed. We changed these screws out from those metal self-tappers to these. They just look better, they blended better, and I also popped a pop rivet on each side so that you simply can't take the screws and pull the whole thing out. It's not foolproof, but it's gonna work for this application, and we made it work. Also, add your sticker, that way if anybody else wants one of these installed, we can go ahead and do that for them. For more information, check out blogshop.com. Thanks for watching. We're gonna do a one minute review. If you get these little nibblers, or you see these nibblers for super cheap, like 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks, pretty much anything under $100, this is it. You can see it, it's plastic. Pulled this out of the box, used it on a metal door for about 10 whole seconds until it failed, it broke. Nothing works, so. 
absolute utter garbage. Do not buy the cheap Junko-Matic stuff that you see on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. The price tells you what is in there. And hardened steel and stainless steel are what you need. This is the Milner Hoffman one right here. And this one I've had for probably two or three years now, maybe even more than that. I've used it several times. I used it to finish my job today, and this is a winner. This will get your job done. Check out Milner Hoffman Nibbler at MilnerHoffmanTools.com. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so we mounted that Durabox. Uh, the Durabox D700BK was designed to be mounted in a wall, and this was a brick wall, so we did not want to do that. Um, this was what the customer wanted. It was the right size and it was what they had planned on getting. It just didn't fit in the door as, as nicely as it could have. It has this sleeve system where this is designed to be bolted from the inside and then it sleeves together and the outside mail slot slides right into it and it kind of goes down and at an angle. That didn't work very well, so we had to modify it. This is how big the piece was where the mail slot was on the outside, but it went too far down in the box and it made things really difficult to deal with. So I cut about this much off of that mail slot on the outside, and then we ended up just uh, using the self, some self-tapping screws and screwing that to the wall and or to the door. And uh, I actually put some pop rivets in there. You can see the pop rivets. So even if they take the screws out, they would still have to do some kind of drilling or, or you know, extensive prying to get that out of there. And even then, they don't still they still don't have access to the box other than you know just whatever this thickness is right here. So that was the best we could do with it. It wasn't designed to go on the door. However, we made it fit on the door. Sometimes you may you have to take what your customer wants and what they already have and be able to apply that to meet their needs. So that worked for this one. It's, it would be recommended if you ordered a door version, if you're going to mount it in the door, or the wall version, if you're going to mount it in the wall, there is a significant difference between the two. One is the angled chute, two is the layers of these that slide together, uh, and the length of the opening inside. Obviously, this is much thicker than a standard door. But again, we made it work. It's all clean, it's nice, it looks good, and it's done well. For more information, check out waynesluckshop.com.